Anyways, we are back this week. This is where we had to stop the video. The light got too dark. As you can see, this stream runs pretty constantly through the year. And if you're just tuning in, go back a few videos, you'll see the beginning of this series here. Anyway, as you can see, this stream continues on down. Two videos ago, we were over that way where that big valley was and those sinkholes. This time, we're going straight down through here into another big valley. I'm not going to stick on this stream because it goes through a few rock bars down there. And I know there's snakes down through there because I seen one yesterday. That's why I didn't post the video up because I didn't want to go back. <laughs> yeah, I'm not much of a big fan of snakes. see it is a little windy today. We had a few storms come through here last night. And it was very severe thunderstorms. We didn't get hit directly but it did you know, in the northern part of the county here. Anyway that goes right down through there. I'm going to cut over this way. This used to be a little four-wheel road up through here. Of course, it hasn't been up through here in a long time. Anyway, here's a little stream right here again. As you can see right here, the little valley cuts right through there. Here's a little better view of it. I'm going to put it a little bit further for you. You can see what I mean by the big rock bar. We'll get a better view of it in a bit. You can see there's a lot of water coming off here because it did flow through here. Anyways, we're going to cut over this way, give you a little, see where I'm at. Over there is our deer stand. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me again. Ugh. Yeah, today there is a lot of pollen in the air, and some of us does have allergies. A little shotgun shell. So much of water on it, so it's been here for a long time. That's your 12 gauge shot. Super X. And 
I will just leave it there. Yeah, there's a lot of shells up in here over the years. Occasionally you find a few. You can see all this big rock bar you see here. That's where Snake slows the hangout. I saw mine right over laying the path. It was a good three feet long. If not a little bit bigger. I didn't stick around to look to find out. That's all those rocks through there. You can see over there, there's an opening. I guess the water is just slowly eating that away there. I don't think there's no underground stream right there. However, I could be wrong. We'll continue on down here. And this is from that middle stream I was talking about. It comes down right through there, over through there. It usually dries up through there, but as much land as we got, it continued to come down through here. <coughs> Excuse me again. There's <clears throat> the water here. I do have a water bottle with me today. I did buy a hydration pack on Amazon. I'll probably do a little review one here in the upcoming few next few videos. I probably won't have time today since I have things I need to get done today. So keep a lookout for that. See, we're entering the valley right now. <coughs> ah, excuse me again. Some bugs flying around. As you can see, we've come down a good ways. Right up there was that little opening I was talking about. Well, I'm guessing that's a good 10 foot drop there. 
Yeah, this stream runs practically year-round. However, there is no fish in it. Too bad they wasn't. Now you can see a little water coming out of there, so there is some underground water too here. But as you can see the valley right there, and go up through there. I'll get a better shot of that, but I'm going to walk up here where it's easier walking and look down on all this here. Figure out the best way to go up here. You can see right there, there's more erosion of that little stream there. You gotta clear your way out when you go through stuff like this. Take you up here to show you a little advantage point here. This is a little point here. Yeah, you can see we was up there, and the string comes right down through here. Make this little turn here. And it goes right through there. It really gets steep over here because we're going to look down it. And here we look down. I'm guessing from where I'm at, this is probably a good 40 foot drop, maybe. And we was right over looking over there.
you should kind of know where you're at right now. Yeah, that's our field there. And on our side, that was that other valley we did on the last second last video we done here. I know there's at least one viewer that I'm glad I'm doing this because he actually wanted to see all this. Hopefully I'm going well into detail for you. Just let me know if I'm not. And I'm going to walk on down here. Now we're down at the bottom right now. Got this wind kicking up. Hope I don't get caught in the rain again. I did last video, that's why I had to cut it so short for. And it did pour down before I got through the house. Yeah, I was soaked. Anyway, yeah, I don't know if you can see it or not, but we was up in there. That was that big valley through there, and this is where it come out. There's a baseball there. Yeah, there's people who lives up in through there. That's why you see some stuff just the way you just threw down in here. As you can see how calm and peaceful it is down in here. This is one of the best parts about being in the woods. Not a lot of noise, not too many people to bother you. It's a good place to get out and away from everything. If you do want to go hiking and you're afraid of getting lost, I'm going to give you a little hint here. 
See this right here? Just bend it down like that. Bend a couple down. Do that every so many feet, and you can always find your way back by following this. That's the original GPS right there. If you're in for unfamiliar woods, I would advise doing that or get you a GPS. If you get a GPS, make sure you carry an extra set of batteries too. And earlier in the spring, when we dug some ramps, we actually buried the roots right here. Some people claim you just bury the little roots you cut off the ramp, bury them, they'll grow back up. But that's, you never had good luck with it. But there's a little ramp coming up. We might have missed one, but... Yeah, who knows? Hopefully this will be a patch of ramps in years to come. Anyway, this is as far as I'm going down this stream here. You get past that bend right there, it's nothing but a briar patch. And like I said before, we are in Greenbar County and they are everywhere. So anyway, we're going to head her back up here and get out of here. Give you a few more views up through here. And that's some kind of fern right there. You can see right there, there's a little limb we broke out of that tree there. So we know we come through that way. Just to go to show you that does work. Let's see here. I'm going to go up through this way. I'm going to have to get me a walking stick. I've got one, I don't know where it's at. Anyway, as you can see, we're out of the valley now. You can see right there, that's where it cuts in through there. 
it gets hard walking down through there. Anyways, thanks for watching. Put a like up if you like, and don't forget to subscribe. Anyways, check out my other videos and keep a lookout for the next one. Anyways, catch you later. Bye. Yep. I think it's going to rain today sometime.